So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at, in the context of IETF 16949, what is meant by manufacturing and what is meant by a manufacturing process. So guys, how would you define, in the context of IETF, what is manufacturing? How would we define that? So in, in the ITF standard, it's defined as the process of making or fabricating production materials, production parts or service parts, assemblies or heat treating, welding, painting, plating and other finishing services. Right. OK, so, so I, I yeah. see that yeah, yeah. Within, within the standard then. Uh, OK. And Often the whole management system standards now are all written around processes. Mm -hmm. So when the standard uses the term manufacturing process, what do, does an organization have to consider? So a process should be a set of interrelated or interacting activities yeah. that uses inputs to deliver a intended result. Right. So whereas an organization may have their overall manufacturing process from the raw materials coming in to the finished goods going out, are you saying that you could break the manufacturing process down into chunks? Yeah. So into that, process steps. Yes. Into sub-processes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I see we're also within the standard, the organization have to define a manufacturing process flowchart, yeah. including the layout. Yeah. So I guess that would be a key document yeah. when an organization defines their internal audit process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that a fair statement? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, yeah within, within ITF, uh, one of the requirements is around auditing manufacturing processes. So the process flowchart would be a, a key um, document in ensuring all of the manufacturing processes are covered on the manufacturing process. Yeah, or yeah. Like. because I see 9222 in, uh, 9223 in the standard yeah. says that we have to cover all manufacturing processes over a three-year cycle yeah. and right. we must cover all shifts. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that's important that the organization understand that should link back to the definition within their manufacturing process flowcharts yeah. uh, there. Uh, so that, that's, I think, really, really important. I think just on that, Paul, it's important to stress the three-year period. It might be based on performance risk, prioritisation, that actually that frequency needs to be um, shorter. Yeah, so right, that, yeah, that's right, down right. to the organisation. Because within the spirit of risk-based thinking, yeah. maybe some parts of the manufacturing process are performing better than others. Yeah? yeah? yeah. A couple more questions. If we have... 20 injection molding machines, do we have to do a manufacturing process audit of every machine? Or are we doing a manufacturing process audit of the injection molding process? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I would say the injection molding process. That said, you might look at you know, individual equipment performance, you know, right. overall equi equipment effectiveness or whatever to help you um, decide yeah. wh which of those machines you're going to use in your sample of injection moulding, but yeah, the yeah. process is injection moulding. And if I've got welding in my organisation, but I do laser welding, electro beam welding, mechanical welding, can I group that and say welding is one process? Or do I really <laughs> need to uh, break that I, down? Those are all different processes. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's really important yeah. for organizations to understand that we can't just take the very high level right. process. Yeah. We need to break down into some of the sub process activities. Yeah. And I guess, yeah. why are we doing audits? Yeah. We're doing audits to try and help the organization understand their areas of, of yeah. weakness. And to, to find out, you know, to see the risks before they become real problems. Right. You know, to be able, the whole point of audit is it, it should enable the organisation to, particularly internal audit, which is what we're talking about here, to use their people to look at their processes and, and understand where the risks are, what's yeah. working yeah. well, can they share that with other parts of the business. It yeah. should be a positive um, yeah, continuous yeah. improvement, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So let's try and summarize for organizations then, obviously to be eligible for IATF, 
it's essential that they add value. They have manufacturing processes. Yeah. That manufacturing process then needs to be broken down into chunks so it forms the basis for the audit schedule for manufacturing process audits. At minimum, audits have to be done uh, over a three-year cycle of each process on each shift, but the frequency of audits might be higher depending on the okay. internal and the external performance. Yeah. So thank you for that insight. Thank you.